Royal Navy's HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier struggling to launch. The Royal Navy's biggest ever ship could miss its launch date due to a number of technical problems. The £3 billion supercarrier, HMS Queen Elizabeth, is being completed in Rosyth, Scotland. A launch date of May 29, in Portsmouth, was earmarked by the vessel's main contractor First Sea Lord Admiral Sir George Zambellas. Engineers are also struggling to finish vital checks to equipment on the ship and there are problems with dredging Portsmouth Harbour. In the last few weeks, around 21 sailors have quit aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth. It has been claimed sailors are being forced to work longer hours and weekends without rest and people aren't being released to go on resettlement courses prior to leaving the Navy as they can't be replaced. Sailors wishing to change jobs within the Navy have also had applications to leave the ship declined and are therefore resigning from the force entirely to pursue careers elsewhere. According to the Sunday Express, HMS Queen Elizabeth, which is 72,000 tons and 932 feet long, has been described as the most potent conventional supercarrier. This year it will deploy for sea trials before most likely heading to the Gulf, where it will take the most advanced stealth fighter jet in the world, the F-35B Lightning II jet. Sir George told a dinner of 300 official guests. I can tell you that the arrival of HMS Queen Elizabeth will be on May 29, 2017. Put it in your diaries, it will be a day to remember. We will make sure this is a major event. The Queen and new US President Donald Trump are expected to attend the launch. But due to the problems a senior naval officer told the newspaper, the date that the Queen Elizabeth arrives is a major issue. No one is allowed to discuss it. We were working on May 29, but I sense that this has slipped and that will be hugely embarrassing for us. Ministry of Defense spokesman said, HMS Queen Elizabeth will be ready to conduct sea trials in summer and debut in Portsmouth later this year as planned. As the F-35 jet, the carrier will use its radar to track objects the size of snooker balls 20 kilometers away, and can fire its defensive machine guns at 6,000 rounds per minute to destroy incoming threats. The carrier, along with its sister ship HMS Prince of Wales, is part of a £6.2 billion project to allow the UK to help other nations police the world. Last year, Captain Simon put it told the Daily Mail, it is about stopping wars rather than starting them. If someone does want to start I think they might think twice if they see one of these ships coming over the horizon. We have never seen these ships before. It will change the way the Navy does its business. It is all part of taking your place in the world. Each carrier can deploy up to 36 F-35 Lightning II aircraft, but Britain will have only one squadron of F-35S to fly off HMS Queen Elizabeth, about 16 jets, when it enters service in 2020. As a result, the US are expected to make use of the carrier with their aircraft, as may other countries such as Italy who eventually buy the jets. This has led to claims that when the second carrier comes into service 18 months later it would be a gigantic white elephant, with UK assets to fly off it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.